Hi everyone, Mike here again from Showing Time. Uh, I thought I would do a quick video while I've got my kids um, uh, preoccupied with lunch right now and to answer a, question, a couple of questions that's been coming in from my recent videos on tips and tricks on how you can leverage uh, online meeting collaboration tools like Zoom or GoToMeeting to help facilitate live video showings. Um, so uh, I do wanna point out that with any recommendation and any sort of new tool that we're introducing to clients and uh, to the market that I would, in the, especially in these times, refer to your local governing agencies um, and the cdc.gov to, um, to understand what may or may not be applicable and uh, recommended for you in your area. However, uh, one of the bigger questions that came up was, who's the actual cameraman? Who's the person that's going to be taking these buyers on this live video tour? And again, I think that is just dependent on the area that you're in. Um, if you are able to freely travel about, or maybe the home is, um, is a vacant home, that could be anyone from the listing agent providing that tour, uh, or it could be the seller who is actually currently occupying that home. Um, I think if it is the seller, I do believe that there probably should be a conversation that is had between the listing representative and the seller about some of the do's and don'ts when doing a video tour, uh, different conversations to avoid, uh, different questions to maybe let their agent answer instead of themselves. Um, but the video tours can be a great way for a buyer to at least get that first realistic impression that a picture or a um, recorded video tour may not be able to provide. You, the buyer can interact and say, hey, can you open up the closet or can I see the, um, the crawl space? Uh, those types of things that might not necessarily be captured in a 3D tour or a video tour. Um, the, live video, the live video tour is a great substitute for that. And especially nowadays, everyone is pretty comfortable with technology like this, FaceTime, Google Duo. Um, so, but uh, in terms of who the cameraman is, I really think that all depends on where your area, where you're at and what the recommendations are by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention along with your local government agencies. So please always refer to that. Um, but I do think that you can, can continue to drive interest to your listings as a listing agent, as well as provide a service to your buyers as a buyer's agent. So at least if anything, your buyers can help see some of the homes that they, they may have interest in and get prepped for that second showing when uh, they need to see it in person. Because I definitely don't think that video tours are a substitute for seeing a home in person. But um, showing time's here, and if you check out my other videos that talk about how you can integrate these tools, uh, I think it'll give you a good sense of how you can continue to leverage showing time while um, still tracking feedback, tracking activity, and using it as your communication tool for scheduling appointments. So everyone has one common platform in terms of seeing availability and when they're, um, if they're available to um, represent the home in a video, live video tour. Uh, environment or not. So uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and follow us. We are tracking the impact of COVID-19 uh, through our website and how showings are happening within your state. Um, and if you have any other additional questions or suggestions of what you'd like to see, please comment in the comments below. And thanks again.